I make eye contact with Monica and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking to Sior talking about with Siori. Okay. I'm gonna change things up a little bit today. Okay, okay, yeah. Siori first! Yes. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. Maybe. Uh, I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Bullshit. Theory. Is there something wrong? All right. Just tell me if you need anything. Assist. Siori. Before I can say anything else, Siori cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. Kind of. It's not like her to leave early, though. No, so after, after you get all the... Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Gary, that's the wrong way to put it. This never did come naturally. You want to show me your poem? <laughs> I really thought you were going to say boob. Ghost Under the Light Part 2. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the ember glow, bathing. In the distance, a blue-green light flickers. A lone figure crosses its path, a silhouette obstructing the entire glow, the eerie glow, excuse me. My heart pounds, the silhouette grows closer, closer. I open my umbrella, casting a shadow to shield me from visibility, but I am too late. He steps into the street light. I gasp and drop my umbrella. The light flickers. My heart pounds. He raises his arm. Time stops.
The only indication of movement is the amber light flickering against his outstretched arm. The flickering light is in the rhythm while the pounding with the pounding of my heart. Teasing me for succumbing to this forbidden emotion. Have you ever heard of the ghost feeling warmth before? Giving up on understanding, I laugh. Understanding is overrated. I touch his hand. The flickering stops. Ghosts are blue-green. My heart is amber. Is that it? That's deep. That is deep. That's deep. She wants me for my body. Finishing the poem, I start to hand it back to Yuri. But instead of taking it from me, she looks away. Uh, no, of course not. I just don't really know how I should respond. Despite Yuri's poem, poems usually being cryptic, it was hard to figure out what this one was about. No, no, it really wasn't all that hard. That's fine. No need to explain. I understand this one. Yuri is having an even harder time speaking than usual. Does this one mean a lot to you? Yuri nods. Once again, Yuri fails to form a complete sentence. You mean I can keep it? Yuri nods. I'd love to. Again, Yuri faintly smiles, as if she doesn't want me to notice. Yeah, I like that. I'm sure we will. With that, Yuri timidly smiles at me, and I turn to my seat so I can put her poem away. In your pants. That means she didn't share that poem with anybody else. That means that is a poem for you. I think you're getting laid, buddy. All right, not sucky. You're moving up the list, so. I thought she was back on the bottom. Yep, she's back at the bottom. What? I didn't think this one was that bad. What did I do wrong? Not sucky shoves the poem I handed her back over to me. This is what I get for letting a younger girl step into my business. Have <laughs> 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 we been saying that the whole time? You're here. Didn't want to read her poem anyways. The game knows that, obviously. Now let's see how pissed off Monica gets. Piss off all three of them in one go, huh? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people, I'll have to give it some more thought. Sure. I let Monica take my poem. I'm holding it back. I'm holding in my hands. Oh shit. Uh, er. Alright. 
I'll read another poem. Oh, it's a short one. It's not long, no. Maybe. Okay, hold on. Her last poem was fucking weird, right? Yeah. So let's see if this one's weird. The Lady Who Knows Everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer. All meaning. All purpose. And all that was ever sought. And I, and here I am. A feather. Lost adrift the sky. Victim of the current of the wind. Day after day I search. I search with little hope. Knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me. When all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains, the last dim star glimming in the twilight sky. Until one day the wind ceases to blow, I fall, and I fall and fall and fall even more, gentle as a feather, a dry quill, expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger. The hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning. There is no purpose. And we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And That's... with a breath, she blows me back afloat. And I pick up a gust of wind. That's interesting. Maybe she meant blow me. <laughs> Never really put that much thought into it. You know, there's one thing I noticed. Seems like everyone in this club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. That's a point. Here's a good advice. It's not breaking the fourth wall. 